I've been looking to create a mobile art studio setup that is comparable to what I have at my home studio, and here's what I came up with. Greetings everyone, welcome to the underground lair where we bring our creations to life. I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. I'm a professional illustrator, designer, and mad creator who typically work right here on my home base in the underground lair, but every once in a while I'm traveling or I've got to go somewhere else and I need some kind of setup where I can work. And it's I've been kind of struggling with this because I have some particular needs, or not necessarily needs, but just uh, things that I, I accustomed to that I have here in the lab that uh, I just haven't had you know when I'm traveling so one of the most popular options for working mobile if you are a digital artist is the iPad Pro of course you know there are other manufacturers that have similar devices that you can use as well and iPad has I think a lot of their other iPads now have you know the touch sensitivity or the pressure sensitivity that you can use with the that are uh, anyway compatible with the Apple pencil and everything and I've been using that that's great like I when I've gone out of town I'll take it you know on the plane and everything and it's a great device don't get me wrong but for me for whatever reasons I'm sort of you know I'm kind of set in my ways I I love using the Adobe suite so Photoshop Illustrator InDesign all of that uh, which there are mobile versions of that that you can use on the iPad but I just don't think they're the same and when I see people that just do amazing stuff all on just the iPad I mean to me it's great but for me I need more real estate I need a bigger screen I, I want the ability to for it to function like you know like a desktop computer rather than just you know apps that you would find on a phone or a tablet or whatever although I definitely do love my iPad I was looking for something more akin to what I have at the home studio so I put together this mobile studio I'm gonna go in through here I'm gonna show you everything that's in my bag uh, maybe this is a good option for you it just depends how you're used to working or what you're looking for but you know this may be particular to me I don't know but I, I figured I'd just share it with you because there's got to be some other people that are in the same kind of position uh, that that are just used to working at home and, and like that sort of setup and this to me is the closest thing that I found personally and uh, it does you know I've got the iPad Pro in here too so that's definitely an option because there's a lot of instances where that's your best option for instance this setup that I'm going to show you it's not mobile can be sort of a misnomer because there is set, some setup involved for instance everything that I this setup that I have it's it's power is you have to have an outlet to power it um, it's it you it's part of it has a laptop which has the battery but the rest of the devices pretty much need to be plugged into a wall and there is some setups addition you know when you're traveling or wherever you've got to set this thing up and it's not like a huge setup it doesn't take a whole lot of time but it isn't just as easy as just pulling it out for instance this particular setup isn't going to be ideal if you are on a plane like I said it needs to be powered it it does take up some space on your table and everything so not your best option that's probably where you're gonna to want to go with the iPad also like a coffee shop I suppose if you're near an outlet at a coffee shop depending on your space on the table you've got you may be able to set this up but it would kind of look a little awkward like you're just taking over the whole area it's just it's it's not like the iPad but that's an option so I just want to show you what's in here you know, and just talk about what I like about it and why I chose this and then I'll leave some links uh, some affiliate links that you can check out this stuff if you're interested in any of this for your own you know building your own mobile studio okay so first off is just the bag itself I found this on Amazon I'm not sure the brand it's a Tanette Yannette I don't know is that why silent I've never seen a word like that anyway but I'll leave a link so you can check it out but I really love this bag I looked at a few different bags what I like about this is it's expandable um, I usually keep it as, as bulky as as it is right now um, but if I you know if I'm limited for space or I'm going on a plane I, I you can kind of compress it a little bit and zip it up and everything um, but it's just got tons of different pouches there's a lot of protection in here for laptops and and tablets and things like that uh, a bunch of different sections lots of you know zippers and places to store things because in addition to the laptop 
and the tablet. Uh, I've got, you know, I've got my keyboard in here. I've got, I've got all this stuff. And you don't need all this. For instance, the laptop has a keyboard. I'm just used to a regular keyboard. I go, I go kind of crazy. I just, like I said, I want this setup to be similar to what I have at home uh, in, in here in the underground lair. So the thing that I really like about this is it's just the right size because although I do a lot of digital artwork, I also do traditional stuff. So I've got my comic book pages. I work at 11 by 17 and it fits really nicely in here. Like I said, I've got a separate keyboard that I like to set up. Um, and of course, like I said, I do have my iPad Pro. Um, it fits nicely in here as well. But I just love, there's just like a lot of cushions in here. So I'm, I'm really nervous about the screen getting cracked on, on like my tablet and everything. Um, lots of pouches, uh, places for accessories. Right here, there's places for pens and you know my, my mouse and all this stuff. My, my stylus can all go right here. But it's a great bag. I'm really happy with this purchase. Like I said, I'll leave a link. So if you're looking for a, a nice bag to, to, for your mobile art studio or whatever, you can check that out. All right, so the tablet I decided to go with is this. It's the Huey on Canvas Pro 16. There's also a 13 inch version that you can get. Uh, it's a little cheaper than this, but like I said, I'm big on real estate. Like in my home studio, I've got big monitors and I just, I'm just accustomed to that. So I opted for the larger model. Now, Huion is a company that, you know, I've, I've kind of been watching them for a while. I, I got one of their tablets early on when they first entered the scene and I ended up sending it back because it just wasn't, it just wasn't up to, it just wasn't close to what I was used to with my Cintiq. However, this company has come a long way and now, I mean, it's, it, it's a lot less expensive in most cases than a Cintiq. Uh, but I still love my Cintiq. Uh, when I do upgrade to the home studio, I'm probably gonna get a newer Cintiq. So, but for this, for this mobile studio, I, the option that I was looking at as far as Wacom was the Wacom One and a couple reasons why I didn't end up going with the Wacom One. One was uh, they, I think they only have the Wacom One 13, which is the smaller version. I wanted something, like I said, a little bigger. The other thing is the Wacom One doesn't have a laminated screen, which means there's a little cushion of air in between the, uh, you know, the screen and the, and the actual, the drawing surface. It's not a huge deal, obviously. Honestly, it wouldn't have been a deal breaker if it wasn't for the size factor as well. Um, but this has got a laminated screen, so you're drawing up right next to, it feels like you're just drawing right on the, on the surface. Uh, so, but I love this device. I've been using this for a few months now, and it's, I mean, I, it's, I don't really, see any difference as far as pressure sensitivity or anything like that for my my Cintiq and it is just a great device so like I said and it's I'll show you here it's right here I'll just pull it out here and it comes with this little I mean this was in here so I always put this in front like I said I'm a little nervous about the screen but this is about the size of the 16 and like I said there is a uh, there is a 13 version so it's a little smaller if you don't need that much space I don't know if there's one bigger I think this is the bigger biggest one that they have and this is fine I don't want to I don't want to I mean there's a limit I don't want to go any bigger for a mobile even though I think my Cintiq is a 20 is a 24 inch uh, so it's it's pretty large, but um, this is a great device. Now the thing about these, uh, whether it's the Wacom One, where it's the Huion uh, Canvas, they aren't standalone machines. It's not like an iPad where you can just pull it out and start drawing on it. It needs to be connected to a computer. Uh, some of them will connect to, I think, some Android devices. I don't know if they connect. I I don't know if you can run it off of a, like an iPhone or whatever. But I think some of them do work with some Android devices. Uh, I ended up purchasing a laptop to kind of go with this, and I'll show you that. Oh, and before I do, this is, uh, it's a little stand to prop up the, the Hue on Canvas. I've noticed if you go on Amazon, some of them have the stand included and some of them don't. Uh, but uh, anyway, it's, I mean, usually whether you buy it, it's about the same price. I don't think it's any less than if you buy it with it, it might be, but you're gonna probably need this unless you just like working flat because this tablet, 
it doesn't really have I mean there's nothing on the back so it doesn't have if you want to if you want to work at an angle which I think most artists do I mean I definitely prefer working on at least somewhat of an angle um, you're gonna want to get a stand to go along with it oh and also a note on price uh, it prices kind of fluctuate with some of these tablets but the hue and canvas like for instance I don't want to compare the 16 inch canvas to the Wacom one because you know there's a difference in size so comparing the 13 inch canvas to the Wacom one actually so surprisingly I mean, I think the base price is about the same, but I've seen I've seen the Wacom One on sale on like Amazon for a bit cheaper. So the Wacom One and Wacom, like I said, amazing company. So other than you know that there's a just not having that laminated screen. I think uh, I mean th I think the Wacom One is actually a little bit less expensive. Um, but you can, like I said, I'll throw links up to these and you can check them out for yourself and make your own decision. But anyway, so here's here's the laptop and this is. Uh, Lenovo IdeaPad. I think it's a 15.5 inch laptop. Um, and I was just when I was looking for laptops, I was just looking for something that was that could handle graphics and everything. I didn't want to go as far as like a, a really expensive like gaming laptop. So something like this would run probably around maybe eight hundred dollars, uh, maybe even a little less. But it's and I I was a little worried that oh maybe I should have got something a little more powerful like a gaming laptop or whatever. But um, so far no problems with this. It works great. It just I mean this isn't my primary machine, but I do. Use use it a lot and I am not because I like working at home I've never really I've never really used laptops up until now but I needed one in order to, to run this canvas um, and like you know for instance I don't like I don't like the laptop just the way it is where you've got the little the, the little trackpad to do all that stuff I I've got a plug in my mouse I've got a plug in a separate keyboard that's just me you may not need that but anyway, so yeah, this is a nice machine. I'll also put a link to that as well. A couple of other things I would suggest having with you is some sort of a, I, I always bring this along because I have so many things that, that I like to plug in here because I'll plug in, you know, if I'm not, you know, just to save battery, if I, because I'll also, when I'm working, I'll have my laptop set up. So I've got my laptop screen. I've got my, you know, the, the actual drawing tablet screen, the canvas, uh, and then I'll have my, my iPad set up too. And just so the battery doesn't drain, I'll plug in the iPad, I'll plug in all that stuff. So sometimes I need more than just the, the two outlets that are usually, you know, provided wherever I am. So I usually bring one of these to have with me so I can plug extra stuff in. Um, Cause yeah, there's just, it, it, like I said, it's not like an iPad where you can just break it out and just start working. And that definitely is the benefit to having something like this. The other thing, depending on the laptop that you get, uh, you're probably gonna need some extra USB ports. So I've just got this little hub. Um, it's got USB, it's got, uh, you know, uh, HDMI, and it's it also has a ethernet cable. So uh, if, I, if I'm worried about, you know, the streaming quality with the Wi-Fi or whatever, I can and if I'm at a place that has uh, a pl like a hotel or something where I can plug into Ethernet I've got that as well so that's something good to have and of course you know the the canvas also comes with the stylus it's got a it's got this and you know the place to hold the stylus and in here of course are all I don't know if I can open this or not somewhere in here yeah you've got all your nibs and everything just like you know it was I was working with the with walk on products for so long before I realized there were nibs inside here. So if you don't know about that, that's that's there. And then also these come in really handy when you're drawing on a screen, the little the like the two finger glove. You know, so your hand will move super smooth across the screen and you don't just kind of get that. Because every once in a while I forget to put this on and then I'm trying to draw and it's just it's it's like, oh man, I can't make this line the way I want because my hand's sticking to the screen. So definitely, and the, these, this comes with the uh, with the canvas as well. Um, and then the, the great thing, the also the great thing I like about this bag is there's also sections to put all these cords because, like I said, you know, when I'm talking about the setup, the the canvas itself. It's got the wall plug in, then it's got the HDMI, and then the cord that goes to the device. So you've got a, your cord that goes to the device, the cord that goes to the computer, to the wall. So it's there's a lot of cords here, plus your laptop cord. Um, I mean, I guess you could run off the battery of your laptop for a while. I wish, I just wish there was a, that, that's my biggest complaint, I guess, is that 
I wish there was some way to run these off a of battery, you know, so if you do, so you don't always have to have, you know, have to be plugged into the wall or something like this, but you know, and maybe that exists and I just don't know about it. But anyway, there you have it. That is my mobile setup. I'm really happy with it. Like I said, it's it's about as close as I can get and still be portable, semi-portable to what I have at the in, in the home base studio. But I want to know about you guys. What are you looking for in a mobile setup? Is the iPad perfect for you? Do you need something a little more? Uh, let me know in the comment sections. I Like I said, I'll also leave links to some of this stuff if you want to check it out yourself. Uh, but that's all I have to say today. I will see you guys later. That is all. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Also, you can follow me at CircWorks on social media. And now you can support the work that I do on Patreon. Do you like making comics? Then go to CircWorks.com and pick up the Comic Maker Starter Kit. It's packed full of fonts, brushes, templates, and more. And best of all, it's totally free.